Good Tech Squad. Good Tech Squad. Good Tech Squad initiated at the Trivandrum International School. Loved it. Growing children and adolescents often struggle with unique problems online these days. And it's not easy for people who don't have the shared experiences to really understand what they're going through. And that's why children struggle with speaking to, let's say, parents or teachers about their problems. Being able to empower our students to use the benefits of the digital world safely is very important. And the Good Tech Squad helps us to do that. So the challenge we faced was how do we speak to a digitally native generation about safety and risks? So we at CDF got together and brainstormed about the best ways to reach out to youngsters and that's when we discovered that it's best that they hear how to tackle some of the challenges from their own peers. So the idea of Good Tech Squad was born there. For the students, it was a support group wherein they could turn to people their own age to talk about the issues that they faced online. As for the parents and teachers, I'd say that it was a way for them to bridge the gap between their own experiences with technology and those of their students and the children that they were responsible for. This is really significant for us because online safety is one of the big challenges facing young people and therefore facing schools today. The name sounds pretty catchy, Good Tech Squad. Uh, what do you mean by Good Tech? So, uh, as the name suggests, uh, we expect the students to uh, look into the good tech and we expect the squad to work towards achieving that positive aspects of the technology. It was a unique opportunity for us to really see all the ways in which parents, teachers and students navigate the complexities of the digital age. When it comes to children's well-being, sometimes we find parents in one camp and teachers in another camp. Ultimately, what needs to be recognized is that both camps have the children's best interests at heart. And this is what we saw at Trivandrum International School. When you talk about uh, the other student bodies, usually uh, their duties and responsibilities are limited to the boundaries of the school. Right. But good tech actually extends beyond the boundaries because the kids don't get to use much of internet within the school. Right. They go back home and they use internet while they are actually alone. The GTS team had the first session with high school students which turned out to be a big hit. The best part was that the students opened up easily to these dynamic youngsters who could offer meaningful solutions. It gives us clarity as to how we can help, guide and be very supportive to our children when our children are on social media. More or less the same thing happened for parents too. They had meaningful dialogues which was very much out of the box, I should say, compared to the normal uh, workshops we have on cyber security. It was truly an eye-opening session for me and I'm not technically sound or I don't understand a lot of things happening around me. It was wonderful to listen to it and to learn a lot of things. It's different about the Good Tech Squad is that it is about student agency. It is our own students who have been empowered to be informed experts about online safety, to give advice to their peers. When it comes to the student body, they have certain responsibilities to be actually role models and guide the younger grades. Good Tech Squad was empowered with resources, ideas to conduct activities and all the answers that they needed to help their friends out. They have a black box yeah. wherein they could anonymously put in uh, the messages as to what are the things or yes. problems that they are facing. I feel like it's a really fun way to actually engage with people and to inform them about various topics regarding technology. The Good Tech Squad experience was really fun and educating for me as it talks about the recent issues and something that all kids are my age should know about and it was a really fun and exciting experience. My favorite activity with the Good Tech Squad would definitely have to be the awareness workshop we conducted for middle schoolers. We had a bunch of 5th, 6th and 7th graders just bouncing off the walls with their energy. We had them rate technology, basically different apps that we use on the basis of the way they made them feel. And then we had them seeing Good Tech Squad slogans. My favorite activity till now was definitely the quiz that we did in the beginning to kind of introduce or inaugurate our team. What was the most challenging part? I think for me, it was the first time as part of CDF's work that I was interacting with children younger than 13 years of age. So I did not know how exactly to engage them, have their attention while making a point which is extremely relevant to them. I really love the session at school. You did a very good job and you were very enthusiastic. I'm sure that all the students, including me, loved it. Participated in all three events uh, that Good Tech Squad conducted actually here in Trends, and it's been a really enjoyable experience so far. The events were very interactive and they provided great learning opportunities.
experienced youth dialogue forum was such a great experience. We were able to understand each other and perceive each other's viewpoints on social media. I was able to learn a lot from this. I would say what was more special for me was seeing a group of driven young students taking charge of different activities for the Good Tech Squad, seeing them communicate nuanced concepts to their peers in a way that they could understand them. I'm very glad that Trivandrum International School has a collaboration with the Citizen Digital Foundation.